Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday. What is it? 14th today, 14th of September. Risk on uh, heading into the Fed FOMC meetings. So far this week, equities, uh, they're up 40, well, I don't know, 35 handles um, from the close. Otherwise, very uh, languid trading overnight. Nothing much is moving. Uh, very light, light can calendar today. Um, so, I'm not really sure where we where we go with this. Obviously, Wednesday is uh, FOMC statement. Be kind of interesting there. Uh, until then, I think people are going to be leaning on. A dovish FOMC a week or dollar uh, but we'll have to see let's just take a quick look around very very little to talk about today um, you can see euro doing nothing uh, 3151 overnight cable sneaking back up a little bit but still on its knees um, you saw all the big shot historical guys uh, came out over the weekend scolding Boris and his strategy. Um, but we do think this is just going to end with a, with a last minute deal. Um, and even if it doesn't and it goes to WTO rules, this won't be the end of the world. Um, so... You know, we, we're not playing in cable right now. We got smoked in Euro Sterling on Friday. So, um, well, smoked is an, ex is an exaggeration. But um, not surprised if and when this turns. Uh, if you take a step back and you go, we're September 14th now, this could you know, we could have some nonsense, more nonsense for two or three months. So there's time for it to turn. Um, but both sides just want to move on now and, and get on with life and, and move forward. As soon as the egos calm down and all these brainiacs who think they have the greatest plan ever um, to get what they want, realize that the only way this ends is in compromise they will get there uh, and Sterling will go back up. Uh, not today for sure, but um, this is the way we're looking at it from a political perspective. Anyway, very hard to trade politics, uh, but that's, that's sort of the way we're thinking about things. Dollar yen, dead as a doornail. A lot of people will be drawing this line here to try and see if a new trend uh, is ignited. This line here. How many times have we drawn these type of pennants in dollar yen this year? Anyway, people will be focusing on these points here. This is down 105 and a quarter. This is up at uh, 107.16, so it's not super relevant. Maybe FOMC could get us somewhere. Nothing to do in dollar yen. Dollars are same thing, middle of nowhere. We're watching 55 on the downside, figure on the top side. Um, you could argue dollar max is a little bit too low here with this move risk on. Oil's hanging out 37.50. Probably go higher today um, on this sort of lower VIX risk on a type day. But we're certainly not going to be buying dollar mix here. I mean, you could throw a lottery ticket out there and, and sort of leave a 19 stop, but not uh, not touching that. Basically, the theme is today we're not really going to be touching anything. Looks like a day not to trade. Looks like a washy day. Dollar cat here in the middle of nowhere. Gold, middle of nowhere. Um... Bonds, a little bit too high for our taste. We're core short ZB still. Um, but ZN's been playing in this consolidation here. Um, this gets interesting if we can make new lows. Again, this will be something that might 
happen on Thursday. I mean Thursday, Wednesday, FMC. Bitcoin came off a bit uh, over the weekend, but really not much to talk about. Just hanging around on this 10,000 number. Um, dollar cost average today, so we'll be buying some. It's a Monday. Uh, but as far as tactical trades, no idea. Seeing square on the tactical book in Bitcoin. We talked about crude. Um, nothing much to say. I mean, it looks pretty offered, right? But it's just sort of consolidating at the bottom end of this range. This could go back up or go back down. Uh, no conviction either way. A little bit surprised we're still at the highs uh, in ZB here, but you can see we're in this downtrend. We've got a core short position. We're just going to stick with that uh, and go forward. I don't want to waste any of your time today. We do have industrial production out of Europe um, at 11 Swiss time. Not really sure people are going to care too much about that. Um, looks like a day to watch, not a day to trade. We will be watching and just chilling out. We got some levels that are far away and a lot of things. If it gets closer, uh, we'll probably start chatting about it on Twitter. Until then, uh, we just sit tight and be patient. I encourage you to do the same. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.